When you're tripping greenside, you want to be able to control the height or trajectory of your ball to help you also control the spin and the rollout that you're going to get. In today's lesson, I'm going to go over three ball positions that you can play that are going to give you three different trajectories. So when you're hitting these greenside bump and run shots, chip shots, you have really three different options as far as ball position. And those different options are going to help you control your trajectory and spin, which in turn is going to control the rollout of the ball. So basically, the first position I'm going to go over is when you play the ball back in your stance. So I'm going to line the ball up back towards my right instep here. Because the ball is so far back, as I come into the shot, the club face is going to be a little bit more hooded. You're going to see the ball jump out of the lower trajectory, hit the ground a little bit quicker, but it's going to be hot. It's going to have some tops and it's going to take off running. Now, the second position, right in the middle, that's going to give me a very normal trajectory, what I call kind of a medium trajectory, and then medium rollout. The third position, which I would then play up forward towards my front foot, when I hit that, there's going to be a lot more loft on the face. The ball is going to fly up a little bit further, or a little bit higher rather, sorry, and then it's not going to get the rollout that the other shots are going to get. So that would be great for a pin tucked real tight and short, or if I have to go over a mound and I'm wanting the ball just to land and kind of grab. So what you can do to remember this is left for loft. This is, of course, for a right-handed player. If I play it left, I'm going to get more loft. And right for roll. I'm going to play it more right if I want the ball to roll out more. So I'm going to go over this with you now and show you how each ball position will change your trajectory and your rollout just a little bit. Now keep in mind when we're chipping, we're standing so narrow, about one club head apart or so. So changing the ball position doesn't have a dramatic effect, but it is going to have enough of an effect around these greens that you're going to be able to change your distance control quite a bit. So for this first ball here, I'm simply going to play it back towards my right instep or my right heel. Okay, you can see that that places my hands well in front of the ball. When I contact the ball, that club face is going to be a little bit hooded. Ball's going to come out a bit lower and it's going to roll out more. So remember, right for roll. Okay, for the second ball, I'm simply going to go in the middle of my stance and I'm going to do the same thing. This is going to come out what I would call a middle or medium trajectory. And we're going to get about medium roll. Now for the third shot, remember left is loft, so I'm going to play that up front. And as I come through, there's going to be a lot more loft on the face. That one comes out quite a bit higher with a little more backspin and a little less roll. It's simple and it works. And remember, if you have a question, please submit it in the Ask Maria section on mygolfinstructor.com.